Welcome back guys. Today we will be continuing with reaction formula. So today we will be starting about type 3 which is we will do something like this. Integration of sin to the power mx cos to the power of nx dx. This will be our first and second we will do the integration of 0 to pi by 2 the same. So where n is a positive n and m are greater than 1 and both are positive integers so this was our statement so let's start the solution so we will assume jn to be some integration of sin mx cos nx dx so we will do what we have done like previously we will reduce this this will be cos x dx. This was pretty simple. Now, now we'll apply integration by parts. So, keeping this as our first function. So, this will be n minus 1 x. Now, integration of sine of m x cos x dx minus of d dx. This will be cos n minus 1 x. Now integration of sin mx cos x now whole dx here it will be dx so now we need to integrate this so uh, at rough I am doing this integration this will be so we can write cos x dx we can write as d of sin x and we know that fx and f dash x fx times f dash x and we will integrate this so this will turn out to be this so now we will put this here so we get something like this cos n minus 1 x sin of m plus 1 x this will be upon m plus 1 now we will der der derive it so this will be minus so this this will be plus n minus 1 cos of n minus 2 and this will be x now co derivative of cos x this will be sin x and this will be minus sin x minus will make it plus and now this integration we have already done this will be m plus 1 now this will be as a whole dx so now we will write this again this will be m plus 1 now this comes out so now we will so let me write this cos n minus 2 x sine of m x now the one from here and this one will make sine square x and sin square x that will be 1 minus cos square x dx so cos n minus 1 x sin m plus 1 x upon m plus 1 now this will be n minus 1 m plus 1 integration of sin m x cos n minus 2 x now we are just opening it this will be n minus 1 m plus 1 integration of sin mx cos nx dx so this here we see that this is j of n this will be j of n and this will be j of n minus 2 so let me write this here it will be this is j of m comma n so it will be m comma n now it will be j of cos n minus 1 x sin m plus 1 x upon m plus 1 plus n minus 1 upon m plus 1 this will be m n minus 2 n minus 2 and this will be minus n minus 1 m plus 1 j of m n so now we will just simplify this so this will be j m comma n m plus 1 plus n minus 1 upon m plus 1 we have taken this to the side and we have done the simplification 
so this will be m plus 1 upon m plus 1 this will be n minus 1 upon n plus n m n minus 2 so now just final step j of m comma n this will be cos n minus 1 x sin m plus 1 x this will be m plus 1 m plus n so uh, this gets cancelled out and here it will be n minus 1 m plus n j of m n minus 2 so this is our reduction formula so this is our main reduction formula now for the second part we need to just apply the limits so if we apply limits 0 to pi by 2 sin m minus 1 m plus 1 x cos n minus 1 x upon m plus n 0 to pi by 2 plus n minus 1 n plus n j of n n minus 2 0 to pi by 2 we'll get something this will be 0 as cos sin 0 0 and cos pi by 2 is 0 so zero, this will be 0 plus 0 this will be m minus 1 upon m plus n i of m minus n so our second part will be this uh, so this will be our answer to the second part if we apply this so if you had any problems comment below and if you did like my video hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you